Hey everyone, first off, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and whatever you happen to celebrate, or if you don't celebrate anything and just want to hug your loved ones and let them know how you feel, that would be fantastic, and I'd enjoy if you would drop a like and subscribe to this channel. Today we're going to be talking about, well, all of the leaks and rumors that currently exist from semi-credible sources heading into 2023 for Nintendo Switch. Also, we'll go over things that are already confirmed as well. So, hey, we got a, a lot we're going to go over here. I wanted to make sure I made a video like this heading into 2023 just so we could sort of maybe set the bar of expectations or maybe just find out who's telling the truth and who's not. Before I do, it is the holiday season and there are still holiday sales going on. Today's sponsored products, E-Win Racing. Here's a quick little ditty about what they got going on. All right, now let's start with all of the leaks and rumors, and our very first one we're going to be talking about is a brand new 2D Mario game, rumored by Zippo. We actually covered this quite recently. Essentially, it's just a brand new 2D Mario where Toad, uh, Mario, Luigi, and Peach are all playable. There really isn't a ton else known about this other than it potentially might be tied in visually with the Mario movie or something like that. So I don't know. This is just something that Zippo put out there. That is one of the more recent ones. The next one also is a Mario one because it's one we haven't talked about in a while, and that is Mario Odyssey 2. There were a number of surveys that leaked a while back that actually told us about Sonic Frontiers before we even knew what the name of the game was. And I'll one part of those surveys dealt with a game called Mario Odyssey 2. Now, Mario Odyssey 2 has not been revealed, but it is something that's out there. And since one survey was correct, what's saying that this other survey isn't correct as well? And Nintendo has just chosen not to announce the game yet. So there you go. That is another double pack of Mario rumors that exist out there. But we're not done, at least with the Mario family, because Donkey Kong has a new 2D slash 3D rumor that's been floating out there for a little over a year. Uh, we have no idea when this game is going to come. There are multiple sources on this game existing, from Nate Drake and Emily Rogers to others. And look, we have no idea when this game is coming. We do know that Nintendo is planning some sort of Donkey Kong expansion at their Nintendo worlds they got going on at all these various amusement parks so maybe they want to release it closer to that maybe it's something they were just saving for next year there's again another rumor out there from emily rogers that nintendo is just sitting on a ton of video games that are complete and this could be one of them next up well this is the one that people get really mad about the wind waker and twilight princess hd we can't ignore that these games have been rumored for switch for at least the last two years 35th anniversary came and went, didn't get them. This year, Jeff Grubb was very adamant they're coming. I think most people are going to back off on at this point of saying, hey, I know when these games are coming, but a bunch of people seem to know that these games do exist in some form for Nintendo Switch. All we could do is really hold out hope that the Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD eventually come to Switch, if not the next platform. And that's because we also have rumors for a Switch Pro. Uh, that's just, we've had these rumors forever. Where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Supposedly there's a bunch of dev units out there. Uh, we have no idea when it's coming, but hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe some of these games are being saved for when that launches. But we're not done with game rumors because also Metroid Prime HD is a thing that it floats out there. Originally rumored as a trilogy, corrected to be just an HD version of Metroid Prime. This comes from Emily Rogers and Jeff Grubb. Jeff Grubb was adamant it was coming this year. He was, again, wrong. Uh, but Emily Rogers never said that. She just said she knows it's coming. It's one of those GameCube remasters that they're supposedly sitting on because another rumor from Emily Rogers is that Nintendo has a bunch of GameCube remasters coming for the end of the Switch's life cycle. So I guess we have to wait and see with that, too. Now, 
One last note is that Game Boy Advance and Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, etc., have been rumored as coming to Switch. We actually had a leak around this proving that Nintendo made some emulators and some stuff to run a bunch of these games, like 39 leaked Game Boy Advance games, etc., etc., and all of it's supposed to be coming to Nintendo Switch Online. It hasn't happened yet. Could happen next year, but that's a thing that we know technically exists. We just don't know if it'll ever get released. All right. That being said, we should probably get to our known games for this year just to show, hey, that's the rumors and leaks are all cool, but what do we know is actually coming? So next up, Fire Emblem Engage. We all know that. That comes out in January. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is dropping in February. We know about Bayonetta Origins in March. Obviously, we have the Mario movie, you know, not necessarily a game, but it is Nintendo related coming out in April. Then Tears of the Kingdom dropping in May. Hey, we can't forget about that. Pikmin 4 is supposed to come next year as well. It's highly like the Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp probably drops at some point this year. It might be sort of a shadow drop, but I got a feeling they're probably going to drop it sometime in 2023. I said this back when it was delayed that I thought it might not come out till 2023. Some people said I was crazy. I'm not looking so crazy anymore. Uh, next up, there's going to be DLC for Splatoon 3. It's already been announced. We got DLC for obviously Fire Emblem Engage. That's been announced. We have DLC for Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle coming this year. And also more DLC dropping for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. These are just things that we know. I didn't go over third-party stuff. You know, there's stuff out there like Octopath Traveler 2 and, and others. Look, we're going to kind of leave that alone because we're just focusing on what's happening with Nintendo published stuff. So, hey, guys, this is pretty cool. I think 2023 is looking packed. I think we're going to be having an awesome time. And I want to know what you guys think. What games do you expect to come next year that aren't already announced? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy holidays. And I'll catch you in the next video.